back in the mountains of Utah. I tell you, man, it's beautiful. Beautiful, quiet, clean air. Look at that blue sky and those white puffy clouds. We're heading up to the top of Polar Mesa right now. <laughs> I just took that road you see down there. I just came off that road. With a road where you can't see it going over the ridge there, about another four miles is where I'm camped. So I'm looking for another killer camp spot. It looks so far, it looks like my, my Ram Dooley truck could make it up this road with no problem. Looking for that. Oh no, beautiful view spot. Look at the color of this stuff, it's literally green. Oh, the turquoise. climbing with these switchbacks. You want to get away from the city and the suburbs. This is the place. Take the side road and see where it goes. I'm in search for that awesome new spot. This road doesn't look like it's traveled too much. Let me see, can I make that my truck? Yeah, that's makeable. Well, maybe not here. Nope. The end of the makeable spot. My camper will never make it over those rocks. Hey, okay, it looks like we might be on top of the mesa. The high point right there. It's like I see a potential road here. It's all grown over. You see my instincts. All right. Makeable so far. Yeah, it's getting a little tight in here. Window scratchers. The big old bomber. Look at the size of that boulder. Man. Talking Joe Big right there. Bears, mountain lions, cougars, hang out. Well, I can see right now there's no way I could bring my camper down here just because of the, the trees, the tree branches that just scrape the living hell out of the side of my camper. Looky that view. Let's go down here and see what we got. You gotta love these dirt bikes, man. They go anywhere. Can't even point them.
Oh yeah. Arm scratchers. Got roads that go every which way but straight here, huh? That's one over there. Which one do you want to take? Hey KTM, which one do you want? Let's go this way. Good having the KTM as your best friend. Wonder what they mine here. Looks like this thing's tilted forward. See that foundation right there? How it's kind of lifted up. Probably overloaded their circuitry there a little bit. Let's see, I wonder what the hell what could be around here. Why walk when you can ride? I wonder where they're I wonder where their shaft was. Looks pretty rough here. cables and stuff. Cables and pipes. Johnny down this road here a little bit. It's like a well-traveled road. Let's see, I gotta remember where I'm at here. Let me do a little. Marker office. I wonder how old this thing is. Anybody home? God, look at there's a rug in there. I think I'll take that home with me. The office. Look at, look at this tree. You know that bad boy's been there a long time. Check this out. When's the last time you saw a heel with nails in it? Today, all heels are glued on. You're lucky you get a year's use out of a pair of boots, Ed. <laughs> Six fifty sixteen. That's probably from gotta be in the forties. I think it was about nineteen forty right around there. The sixteen inch rims started to happen because they got rid of spoke wheels. Around that time, evolved into front spoke wheels to uh, to steel rims. Shoots, I remember having 16-inch rims on my on my 40 Fords. <clears throat> Just to give you an idea, how old I am. Huh. 
and it looks like they separated separated the uh, material here. You wonder just what went on here. Either gold mining or silver. It looks kind of rocky straight ahead there, maybe. Go off camber here. I'd rather go down with a live motor in case I need it at the bottom. that motor right there. Gotta get around that bad boy. Now that's just what I didn't want to do right there. <laughs> hey, where am I? My camper. That's Fisher Valley right there. So just that mesa top and it drops down. That's where I am. Because that mountain is kind of out my back door. Still got snow on it. Colorado's probably about 15 miles as the crow flies. Look at all that riding area out there. You can actually ride that. I see another dirt road way over there. I'm pretty sure. See that peak that's sticking up over there? I'm pretty sure that's top of the world trail, the end of it, right at the very peak. Because see down below where the, where, you, where there's a spiral sticking up? I remember seeing that when I was up there. So actually... We're kind of like on top of the world because look how far you can see across to the next mesa, way, way over there. That dead bad boy's got to be 30 miles away easily. Easily 30 miles.